Okay, guys, the ninth and final cut of the Nightmare Chinese EQs. Charlie, why'd you have to do nine cuts? Because even at eight cuts, we topped out at 278 at around 500 lift. The port did not sound good. Okay? The speeds across the short side were excessive. It needed serious work on the short side, whereas I did perform a good amount of layback on it. I was trying to keep it tall to keep my mid-range up, but the air speeds were excessive, so I had to knock it back a bit to make it a more stable port for a bigger camp. You guys can let me know if I goof that up or not. In any case, it got a touch long, uh, touch bigger throat. But remember, it did have those inserts that I wanted to keep thick. So let's take a quick look at the. Okay, we got 86.9% on the intake and 85.5% on the exhaust. Both of them are relatively tight, okay? Now, could I open the exhaust up more? Sure, I could. But I did open it up a little bit more since last time you've seen it. Same reason. We had uh, parts of that flow curve were not, were not happy, okay? All right, let's take a quick look at how we did as far as liquid with our new chamber design and everything. Uh, bowl looks really good right to the roof, nice and wide. Our splatter pattern is... Now you tell me. Does it look like that cut's doing something? Let's take a look at the bore. Okay, you can really see the angle of attack over here. Tell me whether you like it or not. I've actually got two flow sheets to show you. One, the only thing I did is I shrunk these exhaust valves because they overhang. They overhung too much. Okay? And to be honest, it was a waste of a couple hours of my life because it really didn't make much of a difference as far as flow. Even though it had like 32 thousands overhang, really didn't hurt flow much. Which I was surprised. I, I would think, you know, making the valve the right size, right? Having your back cut nice. You can see the... If this thing will focus, you can see it actually has a bit of a texture on the edge because... I had to machine these by hand. Charlie, you can't machine valves by hand. They'll be all screwed up. Well, we have two different sized valves. We have 2.002 inch and we have 2.003 inch. That's the size valves we have. Is that close enough for you? Because that's as close as I could do by hand in a hot as hell garage. The, uh, the edge of it I got the slightest bevel on this side with the burr, and then I hit it again with the um, small file to make sure everything is copacetic. It did get a cartridge roll on the edge. This thing doesn't want to focus where the dam today. Let's see if we can do better. Okay. Okay, one thing that was nice is it increased the thickness of our margin, which should really help. It didn't. So let's, let's show you that flow sheet first. Okay, this has got a 2.002 inch intake, and this is what we got. These pluses and minuses are in reference to this earlier eighth cut. Okay, so these flows 
these pluses and minuses are in reference to these flows. Okay, how'd we do? Well, the only thing I did was shrink that valve down, right? Minus, 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 plus, 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 very small pluses. Minus, 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 plus, minus. Hit a miss. If I had known it would have done that, it would have stayed. Now, it did change my swirl curve. Right? Let me do pluses and minuses on the swirl curve. Okay, it did make a difference on the swirl curve. Plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus. minus. In either case, they're both they're both usable curves as far as as having some swirl. Remember, that's after our chamber cut, so that's going to make a difference. All right, as far as our air speeds, this is what they were at 500 inch, 500 thousandths lift, and I had to do it at 500 thousandths lift again because the separation at 600 was ridiculous. So that's what we got as far as pluses and minuses. Our pinch is too fast. Okay, our center of the cylinder went up quite a bit. This is just by changing the size of the valve. And our excessively fast short side got faster. Not great, right? Okay, so then I have to do some radical surgery as far as short side radius and opening that bowl a touch. Let's see how that helped. We really should have a good uh, discussion on this because I guarantee there are people that will disagree with what I have to say, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. So, 10th cut. Big short side radius, layback, change throat. Okay? How did it do? Well, it did exactly what I thought it would do. As soon as I give it a layback, what's it going to do to the meat? It's going to lose something in the meat. Were they big losses? No, but they're losses. Now, at 400, we're almost back. At 500, we had 273 with buffeting versus 272 that's steady. Super important, guys. Now, at 600, it still loses it. And you know what? I'm not going to worry about it until I finish the intake. Because, like I said, I think I'm done with these. The intake will change exactly where it, it loses it, I believe. Maybe not a huge amount, but a little bit. In any case, this whole port sounded much happier. Is that worth anything? It's my opinion. My opinion is this port would make more power than this port. Okay? Let's see how it did as far as swirl. So these swirl numbers are in reference to these. Minus, 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 plus, minus, minus, plus, 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 plus. plus. Is it a usable curve? It's a little fatter than I'd like, but I did put that big chamber cut on. And remember, the intake manifold knocked our swirl curve to death. So maybe a steeper swirl curve will really work well once we put the manifold on it. It'll be interesting to, uh, to do the, in the intake and then figure out where we are. Okay, as far as... The air speeds there, down here, and they're a mess. Let's figure them out. Okay, this whole section is in reference to these air speeds. Okay, intake. Plus, plus, minus. These are also taken at 500, I believe. I didn't make a note, but I should have. It's. I, I should have just kept it at one lift, but unfortunately the separation was so bad, I wasn't able to do that. Okay, how'd we do as far as this? We lost a little speed here, and we gained a little bit speed here, but we're closer together. Okay, so that's a big difference. How'd we do on our short side? We were too fast before. Guess what? Plus, minus, plus. Are we more even? Yes, we're more even across. 
we lost a little bit of speed in the middle, it's still very fast. Can I take some more area out of that? I probably could, but it's going to start getting difficult from port to port with course shift. So I'd rather not if I don't if I don't have to. Okay, let's jiggle some papers around and we can check our last exhaust to this exhaust because I changed the throat ratio a little bit. See how we did. Okay, the last one I could find was our seventh cut where I put a little bit bigger port in. Okay, and I polished the bowl. It really didn't like a polished bowl, so I went back to a textured bowl. Okay, so this has got a little bit larger throat and texture on the bowl. These pluses and minuses here are in reference to these flows. Plus equals minus plus big plus there. I mean, from 113 with noise to 125, big jump. Plus, plus, minus, but only a small minus. Plus, plus, plus. I took the pipe at 500. I don't know if I... I don't remember what I did. I'm a little toasted, guys. Too much heat. Way too much heat. Okay, plus, plus, plus. So, it should have been at 600. Can't really reference it. In any case, this port sounded really good. Okay, and an 85.5% throat, it's pretty close to what I like on, on an exhaust. So that's probably going to stay. In any case, 228 at 500 with an inch and 7 eighth pipe. He's got step headers starting at inch and 7 eighth. I think they'll work just fine. Now we could take a look at those port air speeds versus these port air speeds. Let's do pluses and minuses. Okay, this is where we were. They were. The speeds were actually quite good, right? But what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a little more air through it, so I had to do. I had to give it a little more area in specific spot, and the the speeds did change. This is the, this mess on the bottom. So it just says exhaust minus plus minus minus plus minus plus plus plus. How do we do side to side? 319, 326, not bad. A little bit lower in the middle, 313. 324, 335. 340 in the middle, which is higher than it was, right? It was uh, 336. Okay, we went down a step there, we went down a step there. That's kind of dead. But we're good over here. And as far as side to side, they're relatively close. And it was less noisy than the previous port, so I'm going to say it's a win. Let me show you the liquid on the valve, because I don't remember if I showed you that. Sorry guys, I'm cooked. Alright, I'm going to say the coverage on the valve is excellent. It really has a lot of the valve covered with dicum. Okay. And we need to look straight down it. Okay. You can see the, the bolt boss comes out into the port quite a bit still. I don't want to just make it a huge port. That's not the point. Okay. And like I said, core shift is something serious. So if I start going thin there, I may not be able to make ports all similar. So I'm not going to sweat it right now. So notice how much thinner these are than they were because they're quite a bit taller. I had to make them taller as far as the floor in order to fit that crazy gasket and the way those uh, that manifold was cast. So we'll have much less of an overhang when I put the intake manifold on and uh, hopefully that'll take a step in the right direction. All right guys. If you're watching this, I give you credit because I don't even know if I'd be able to watch this th that many times over. And I'm pretty hardcore with this stuff. Very interesting stuff as far as I'm concerned. But then again, I'm, I'm a little wacky. And if you're watching this, guess what? 
might, uh, you might be a little, you know, I don't have to say it. All right, guys. You know what I should, uh, you know, a good, good amount of today was actually wasted making sure every single intake port and uh, intake was right at the edge of that insert because it needed to be right at the edge of that insert to make it work with that valve even though I shrank the valve what a pain what a pain FYI you can make a decent head out of it but it's going to take some work it's not a bowl blend and send it head I mean yeah you could probably get 220 to 25 out of it not even as much as a bone stock magnum this is going to require some work to get some flow out of I think we'll be surprised when we see how tight that port is still I'm willing to bet it's quite a bit smaller than the uh, New Zealand EQ the New Zealand remember I only did two cuts on it and it was 267 what a 1.92 inch valve. It was too easy. I knew, I should have known something was going to happen. That's the way it works, right? You get an easy job, and then the next job looks like this. Wow. It's all right. It'll work. When it's all said and done, it'll be a nice setup, I guarantee it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.